Have you ever wondered why does the sun rise in the east and set in the west? Well, let's start with some facts. You probably already know that the Earth rotates around its own axis, like this. And in fact, it rotates around itself once every 24 hours, and that's what gives us our 24-hour days. Now, just as a little disclaimer, these aren't to scale um, the sun and the earth, but that'll be okay for today's video. Um, so let's see, let's just uh, start with uh, this diagram here. Um, and let's say that we're gonna use California as a reference point, which happens to be where I live. California is over here on the west coast of the United States. So let's start with it being nighttime in America. And in fact, that's exactly the situation we got going on here. Um, the sun you can see over there, so the rays, the solar rays are coming like that. So essentially we have daytime happening on this side of the earth and nighttime on this side. So we're going to start the earth rotating. Now, this it's going to take a little bit of a 3D thinking, but around here, I'm going to show you from the view from the, from the north. Uh, and right now, the east coast of America, so, you know, where New York is, which is over here, if you can imagine yourself over there, is just starting to see the sun. So from the perspective of New Yorkers, and I'll kind of get closer and pr almost give you the view from where they are. You know, they're, they're waking up, maybe at 6 a.m. or something. And the sun is just peeking over the horizon there. Well, which horizon is that? Well, they're having to face this way. So in that direction is east. So let's say I'm a New Yorker, minding my own business. Well, if I want to see where the sun's rising, I'd look eastward. There's the sun. Let's zoom back out. Remember what? We're going to use California. So it's not quite sunrise for us yet. So the earth continues its rotation okay so it's a uh, sunrise maybe in Texas and then uh, maybe right around here oh I might have overshot a bit <laughs> but let's just say that around there it's now sun rise in California so as a Californian I look to the east and right there is the big ball of fiery gas the Sun so let's continue this rotation. Now I'm definitely speeding up time here, but right around here, if you want to kind of once again give this bird's eye view, space bird maybe, any guesses what time it is for us in California? Well, it's about noon. You got the sun directly overhead from our perspective, so we got a big ball of fire in the sky. Well, that's noon for us. And uh, let's continue speeding through the, the daylight portion. Oh, well, what's happening here? Well, oops, sorry, wrong, wrong rotation. Well, we're getting close to sunset. And right around here, I'd say, let's go remind ourselves where California is. California is right around here. Well, from the perspective of a Californian, if they wanted to see the sun setting, well, where would they look? They'd look this way, which is westward. So, hopefully this gives you a better idea from this perspective of why the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. Um, I'm excited to kind of share, if you didn't figure this out already, that on the way to figuring out the answer to this question, we've actually answered another big question that you may have wondered about which is why, uh, which way does the earth rotate around its own axis? Um, you know, I could have actually started with either question, but you can kind of work out the logic and see that this rotation of the earth, namely, if you want to think about it from, uh, from the top down, a uh, counterclockwise rotation, or if you want to think about it from maybe the perspective of someone on earth, uh, what we would consider a eastward rotation, so rotating from west to east, um, is what explains what we observe, which is that, you know, everything in our sky, the sun, the moon, even the stars rotate um, or go from east to west. So 
I hope you learned a little bit more from this video. Thanks.